Hi, I'm Ari, and I'm here to talk about WebEx Classrooms. Today, we'll be getting a quick preview of the features that will be delivered in the first release of WebEx Classrooms, but there will be many more to come. Here, we're looking at a student view. As a student, when I log into WebEx Classroom, I will see a pre-populated list of every class that I'm enrolled in. And that list is coming from the student information system at my school. So any course that I'm in, along with all the other students that are in that course, and the instructor or instructors who are teaching it, will automatically be displayed to me. Any course that I'm interested in, for example, Intro to Python, when I click on it, I'll automatically see all of the details associated with the course. So here on the left, I'll see the name of the course, what semester it's being held in, um, a bit about the course, a list of the instructors who are teaching the course. In this case, we have um, an, a teacher and also a TA, as well as a list of classmates. I'll also see a list of all the upcoming meetings, which I can join with one button, just the join button. In certain courses, my instructor may even allow students like me to create new meetings. And I can do that just by clicking new meeting. And I can schedule a WebEx meeting inside of the context of my class. I might use this for study sessions um, or any kind of group work where I'd like to utilize WebEx meetings. I can also utilize WebEx training or events um, if I've been given those permissions. In addition to seeing all my upcoming meetings and being able to schedule meetings as a student, I can see past meetings to see which courses or course meetings I might have missed, and I can see all the upcoming recordings, and I can just click to view them. Um, I can also, if I need some extra help, um, set up office hours with my instructor, um, and I'll automatically see the spots that are available to meet with my instructor. If there are multiple courses, uh, excuse me, multiple instructors, I can actually see a list of both instructors, or more than two instructors who are in my course, and I can see the times that are available to meet with each of them for office hours. Let's take a look at the instructor view. The instructor view is quite similar um, to the student view. However, instead of seeing a list of courses that I'm enrolled in, I'm seeing a list of courses that I'm teaching. Um, I'll take a look at Intro to Python. You'll see that my view is quite similar um, to, the uh, to the student, in fact, um, except most of the courses that I'm teaching, um, most of the, the meetings I've scheduled, have a host button. If I click host, um, this actually uh, uh, does a one button to push experience, uh, logs me into WebEx um, because it trusts WebEx Classroom and uh, automatically launches my meeting uh, right inside of WebEx. So here it is, launching my WebEx meeting right in, inside of WebEx. And if I choose, I can click start meeting and automatically my meeting has started. Going back to WebEx Classroom, I can also see past meetings. And in addition to past meetings, um, just the meeting information, I can also see the attendance reports. So here I can see exactly which students joined my meetings, what time they joined, and if I want, I can even download a CSV. And this will show me uh, all of the data displayed here as well as a, a bunch of additional data that I might use for a variety of different purposes. I can also see all the recordings that I've created in my course, um, and I can click to view them. And when I click to view them, we'll just launch um, the WebEx recording, and I can click to play. As an instructor, I can also set up my office hours. So I can just choose um, what duration of office hours meetings I'd like to have. Do I need a buffer between them? And um, I can even just select which uh, times I'm available, and those times will display to students. So that's a quick preview of the brand new WebEx classrooms.